Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture I will be talking about future of human computer interaction or HCI. In the last lecture I have uh, spoken about user experience, user interactive design and why user experience is so essential for any successful system in HCI. So, in this lecture, we will be looking at some of the technologies uh, which are emerging and what can be the future of uh, HCI. So, without wasting much time, let's get started. So, this is a big question when we think about how we're going to interact with the system, how we're going to interact with our environment around us when there will be a big, big changes in technology around us. So, if you try to think and imagine what can be the possible future, let's consider what we have right now. So, if you look at the current situation where we we are living in a normal um, in a normal way, like the way we we are living is is far more better, far more enhanced, and far more advanced than decades ago. This can be understood by an example, like your mobile phone that you have in your hand, if that's equal to, it has a more power, more clever than it used to be a NASA back in 1969. So how, how you can imagine how the technology has been advanced since then, how much changes are occurred during this process of time. So that means there's been a big amount of uh, advancements and a uh, big amount of effective changes in user experience and new research and new technologies keep coming up to replace the existing ones and which could provide more interactive information access design and user-centered information access designs. So at the moment, the mobile phones is a big example where we have attached touch technologies where we can just uh, navigate through our um, uh, smartphones with the ju with just uh, touch uh, methods and uh, you look at the um, voice powered uh, technologies like apple siri look at alexa uh, google home like it works you can make up a smartphone um, a smart home uh, like um, you can turn your home um, household stuff uh, into um, uh, work in a smart way in the way like if you uh, process with the voice commands like with the Alexa or Google you can control your home utilities like lights uh, on and off and on and off and door locks and things like this so basically an IoT that's been uh, have a create advancement in um, uh, human computer interaction and uh, these uh, voice powered uh, capabilities has played a huge role to make that a very effective user experience design. And uh, take an example of uh, an Apple Watch where uh, you don't have to do any anything, you just wear it and even look at the way it monitors your health, your heartbeat, your all other activities, it keeps your record where it tracks where you've been going and what has you been doing. So look and imagine how the things are being changed over the recent times. So Apple CEO Alexa, these are just the recent advancements, uh, including Apple Watch. So, uh, and look at the autonomous um, cars like uh, in mechanics, like Tesla, where there's an, uh, you just don't have to do anything manual. Is everything is getting um, autonomous. So the car drives itself with the things, um, you know, it, it just adopts itself according to the environment which provides some more uh, interactive um, user experience, which is uh, an essential component at CI, as I discussed. So, considering the current situation, if we try to analyze what can be the possible future of interaction, it's really, really interesting to imagine. So, you look at the phone right now, like you just use the tech technology, touch technologies, all the device things, wise power things are in place, but still are growing and the work has been done to make it more effective to enhance the user interaction. So uh, with the new feature we will see, it might be replaced totally by the voice. So everything we do, it just work by voice. We just don't need any more uh, physical interaction or physical touch to the computer devices. And uh, the biggest development in the future, you can think about the virtual and augmented reality where you don't uh, think about a football pitch. You don't really need 
uh, in the future to go and physically just stay in your living room and just put that device on and uh, that technology is capable to give you a real life experience so basically this 3d dimensional technologies will totally going to dominate in most of our daily perspective take an example where you go out in a restaurant and um, think like you have glass on with the augmented reality and um, you can just look at the glass and you can just look at uh, their menu you don't really have to go in the menu or ask what the price is you can just wear it and just uh, just keep it in front of the restaurant and give you all the things about it and think about you just raid the restaurant you just you know wave your hand in front and you can just uh, put it across or uh, take up according to your own uh, feedback uh, you know you can just give a feedback in the future in a more interactive manner so this three-dimensional technology will going to uh, change a lot of things a lot of fields and a lot of fields gonna big bring a big big revolution um think about um, e-learning look at e-learning will going to really change uh, you know give you a real life experience let me give you a very good example and like a museum you go museum and imagine if you have a technology of uh augmented reality and you just look at that thing and it takes you make you feel or takes you back in time where that device where where the things or any anything in the museum maybe um any kind of a statue or anything so it might take you back in the country back in the time so there could be a lot of interactive uh, things that it can possibly happen happening and it's it's the work is uh, in um, in a great pace and in, in this field of hci uh, especially in the augmented reality is a good area to be covered for the research and um, there's a lot of things coming up with this and uh, think about the microchips if we um, have uh, that's pro that could be a great future where you just have a chips in your body and it, it's capable of detecting and diagnosis your early disease so it it, it prevents you from uh, getting into the serious consequences while having an early diagnosis uh, for any kind of thing so uh, from medical to industrial to commercial to um, uh, all sectors these technology so HCI is going to bring a big big revolution in the near future so if you guys have any questions regarding um, today's lesson please let me know and if not let's move down to the next lecture thank you